introduce any piece of ice to a cocktail, that is a lit fuse. We need to take every measure to prolong the life of that drink, to complement that spirit that the master distiller has taken such pains to create. Ice or water will change uh, the profile of a spirit or a cocktail. That's a given. So what we're trying to specifically control is the temperature and the water content of every single drink that goes over our bar. When somebody walks in and orders a Johnny Walker Double Black on the rocks, they are not going to get rocks per se. They're going to get a rock. That rock, that large format single cube, is going to melt at a slower rate then several smaller pieces. So surface area, definitely an important factor here. There's not going to be any instantaneous unwanted water content. And that pour of whiskey is going to maintain its integrity. If you're introducing six to eight pieces of commercial machine made ice, what we've referred to as sweaty ice, there are impurities that are going to be released into the spirit or the cocktail. Those impurities can be anything as simple as a piece of dirt, trace minerals that are going to affect each person's palate or experience with that spirit uh, differently. If you don't care, then don't listen to me. But if you do, if you want your drinks to hit these incontrovertible standards, then this is something that you need to concern yourself with. Um, it goes back to the ingredients that you're putting into these drinks. With a blended scotch like Johnny Walker, you have the assurance that the master blender has taken the necessary steps to create that balance in the spirit as it stands in the bottle. If we're taking the trouble to pour somebody an exemplary spirit, then we've got to do the same with the ice that we put into that drink.